Hello everyone, this is Yama Kim. Today uh, I will try to configure and connect using cellular and the provider is Korea uh, SKT. <laughs> and let's just see the what kind of router is it. Uh, have you ever heard about the IR, Cisco IR router? It use same iOS XE. The same iOS with the ISR 4400 and 4300 and these days 82, 8300 router. So, uh, uh, color list. Almost uh, every color list, like color list 9293, 9456, that was using same OS. And this is the, the 5G cellular the card. Uh, the product ID is P 5G SS6-GL. It may be, may be compatible with uh, recent the Cisco router and also another IR routers. Uh, as far as I know, this is not hot-swappable. So today I will use IR21, the IR1821. 1821 is looks like this. It's like a laptop size, very small and no fan, very, very good because it, no, there is no noise to my mic and this is module and very small and very nice and when you start just one thing oh, one of different difference between the from the Cisco router is here this is console port if you like uh, open this one with the driver here what is it? This is a USB-A console type. So there is no RJ45 console. Uh, USB-A is maybe the so old Android charge cable. So if you have it, use it. If you don't have it, so go to the, some Mart or like uh, Best Buy. You can buy it also Amazon.com. And driver is here. Driver is blah, blah, blah. And you can download it. It work, it work Mac, Windows. Also, there is Linux driver. And another thing is SIM card size. Maybe these days, every SIM is nano SIM, but this is micro, micro SIM size. So if you don't have it, use the converter. So I did it by converter in Korea market, Korea the franchise market called the Daiso. <laughs> Not Japan is called, it's Korean. In Korea, there is also Korean kind of Daiso. Okay, I will do the cellular configuration. Before that, I will do reboot the router. Reload. Nope. And I will use this timer. And this is console. Console screen. And I think it takes uh, four or five minutes like that. You know, the module is going offline. But still, Ethernet is working. <laughs> Uh oh, during the booting, I will show, I will explain about topology. Topology is very simple. Uh, there is a router with the, the cellular, cellular card, the 5G LTE card, and the interface, gigabit 000, gigabit 0 will be 192.168.1.1. And my laptop, this one, Mac, is, will have dot .99. Very simple. <laughs> Let, let's leave with the configuration. Uh, this is very basic configuration. So, when the, any any kind of RP is come here, it will it will here it will use dialer the cellular zero zero four one and the uh, default route is o zero o four one. <laughs> and if you if you do this one, you can ping to outside, but there is no no PC can't the using the internet. So here, here we have to do the NAT. So to do NAT, so for the NAT, 
Uh, here, cellular is outside and uh, gigabit 0000 is inside. Also, there is IP address. And this one, uh, the ex anything from the, this network will be the cellular 041 and overload. So, actually, so IR router will be function the path. Actually, technically, it's path port address transition and like home router. Okay, so let's wait, please. Hold on, take a tea or take a cigarette or take a wine or a whiskey or a beer, anything. We need two or three more minutes. All right, let's let's config this machine, and we need a time. Just put any password with minimum ten character, blah blah blah, and go go to iOS command prompt without saving. It's important. All right. There is a, there is a many 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 lines of love using very slow serial cable. Okay, first I will go to here because I have to give an IP address. Don't be surprised. This is maybe bug. If I even though I put the dot, there is no dot on screen. Let's check. Oh, already the without any configuration, the cellular module got the IP address, and there is ping is good there. Let's just set, set up more for telnet. Slow, because it's after booting, the machine is very busy. All right. First thing is always it's my just habit. Uh, to show version and check the model and especially for lab I have to put the version okay and let's check the basic configuration here Blah 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 and here cellular O for one nothing is right and cellular O for one and just to, this command is here so we have to put the the other command cellular O for one and this one dire in band hmm and dial group one okay and go out and this one all right 
I think maybe we can ping to outside. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Cellular over one o command, and this is FN nine eighty. Maybe Tillit company, and IP address is working fine, and everything looks fine. Band one, LT. I think after reboot, we can maybe we can connect to the internet. I guess it's the same when when you buy a new SIM card, you need you you have to like uh, reload a few times. Still, the interface is down, then no IP address is here. So we need more time to recognize the module. Uh, the, the band preference, sim zero match, blah, blah. You need more time. Modem is now maybe up. <laughs> it's off on again. Maybe it search the band, I guess. Okay, the IP address is here and the <laughs> ping is over there so let's do the NAT configuration so NAT is very simple put inside outside here and give the access list here and then also the overload for the path actually path here and okay so from this laptop yeah, the, the ping to outside is okay, so we can we can into the internet <laughs> and we can do speed test dot net. All right. So one of one of the most hardest thing is troubleshooting. The troubleshooting about cellular. So as you see, there is a command show cellular and slot number and all. This is one of the most command, most used to troubleshoot and like a short tag. So with this one, we can see what is wrong or what happened over there. All right, so band, band, uh, ulti band seven and just 10 megahertz. <coughs> Uh, if it's slow, maybe like that. So we can see also with like that with radio all like that. The command shows every radius. Oh my, oh my God! What's wrong? Details. <laughs> radio details. It shows about the radio details because of that we can troubleshoot. If something is wrong, actually it's very hard because when you the join AP to WAC. It's very easy. We can see the log at the AP side, also WC side, because it's easy. But uh, we can see the log of the the service provider side because of that. Troubleshooting is a little bit hard, but if we do it again and again and again, maybe it will be easy. <laughs> um, uh, last time when I have a trouble. 
just uh, I turn turn off and turn it again. That is one of the way to troubleshoot. Uh, another way to troubleshoot is uh, put the SIM card to the cellular phone, smartphone. If check if it work or not, and turn off the cellular phone. Don't just to turn or don't do that OIR and uh, turn off the cellular phone and do it. It's one of the way, and it worked in Korea, <laughs> especially for the SKT. So this is very simple. Uh, the the demonstration of the cellular uh, Cisco router, and I hope this will help you in some day. Thank you. Bye bye.